We start by creating a new project, running the corresponding command and indicating the name of the file in its folder. We see how the project window appears on the right side of the screen. Next, we will examine the code database, with which it is possible to draw entities automatically based on the point codes. We select the tree code and check that it is of point type or block defined by one point. For each point that has the tree code, the block of the same name will be inserted in the trees layer, with green color and scale 1. We now choose the path code and see that it is of line type, so that a polyline will be drawn that joins the points with said code in the path layer, with white color and continuous line type. We now proceed to import the points. We choose the generic format, that indicates that in the points file each line contains its number, x, y, z coordinates and optional code, with space separator. We also choose an appropriate scale, which affects only the size of the texts, and activate the drawing options from codes and classify points by levels. We choose the coordinate file and press OK. We check that some blocks and polylines have been drawn in addition to the points, all depending on the codes. We continue to obtain a list of the points of the drawing. We choose the All option and examine the data. Now let's change the symbology. To do this, we enter the command to change format and indicate that we are going to modify it globally for all points. We choose the number of decimal places of the elevation and activate the 3D drawing option. We accept the changes and check that the elevations now appear to three decimal places. We could also have modified the point symbol, the colors of its attributes, etc. Then we will draw a path that has constant width and of which we have taken only one side in the field. We run the displaced parallel command within the breakline menu. We indicate the name of the new layer to be created and specify that the new points will belong to the break line level, so that the Y are considered in the triangulation. In addition, we decided that the elevations for the new points will be the same as those for the respective original points. We accept and graphically select the points that define the path we have taken, in sequential order. We finish by pressing the right mouse button, and graphically choose the side to create the new points and indicate the distance of the parallel line. We see that the points and the line on the other side of the road have been created. We also check that for each vertex of the polyline has been assigned the same elevation as the original point. Now let's draw new break lines using other methods. We start by creating lines from point numbers, we run the command with that name and create a new layer, choosing its color. We accept and enter point numbers that must be joined, for example 99 with 21 and 92 with 22. We repeat the process by creating another new layer. And once again we created a new layer for the low slope, joining other points. With this process, the configuration of the assembly drawing and breaking lines would be finished. Finally, we save the drawing and add it to the current project initially created.